The greatest American work of the theater is now an extraordinary film. Eugene O'Neill's The Iceman Cometh. <laughs> Eugene O'Neill's The Iceman Cometh, perhaps the most important dramatic work of our time. Now it is a magnificent motion picture, brilliantly directed by John Frankenheimer. Lee Marvin plays the crucial role of Hickey, a destroyer of dreams in a world of lost souls. This is no chance saloon. Bedrock bar. End of the line cafe. The bottom of the sea rascal. Don't you notice the beautiful calm in the atmosphere? That's because this is the last harbor. No one here has to worry about where they're going next because they can go no further. And yet, as I said over and over again, it's exactly those damn lying tomorrow dreams that keep you from making peace with yourself. So you've got to kill them, like I did mine. You've got to believe me that I only sold them out just to get a few lousy dollars to blow in on a whore. Now, there's no other reason on it. For the love of Christ, will you leave me in peace? Go on and get paralyzed. I'll be glad to see one bum in his dump act natural. Now, you bloody nuts, come on out! You can't do that to yourself, Jimmy. Well? No? One drink on top of your hangover on an empty stomach, you'll be awry eyed. Tomorrow? I'll be in good shape tomorrow. Take that hand off me. This, says distinguished critic Pauline Kale, is pure American poetry performed by the sort of cast that rarely gathers in a theater. Lee Marvin, Frederick March, Robert Ryan, Jeff Bridges, Bradford Dillman, The Iceman Cometh. Time Magazine says The Iceman Cometh is a success indeed. Not merely a worthy production of a great play, it also possesses its own greatness. And Newsweek calls The Iceman Cometh a great movie of a great play. Eugene O'Neill's The Iceman Cometh. <laughs>